Diagnosing clinical cases just got better with artificial intelligence. Did you know with ChatGPT you can diagnose any clinical condition and arrive at near accurate answers, if not entirely accurate? This not only saves you time and stress, it can also be a really efficient way to speed up your clinical reasoning on days where you need quick answers. Let's get into it. Now this aspect of our lecture will be very helpful for our clinical students, students in 400 level and above. Let's say you have a case study you are going through, maybe you just finished studying a particular condition and then you want to attempt case studies. Alright, so and you saw that clinical case, it's very confusing and you can't seem to arrive at a perfect diagnosis. Chat GPT can actually come in handy in helping you solve that particular case study. Now let me put out this disclaimer. Using ChatGPT to diagnose clinical cases is not entirely accurate, but as a medical student, it can at least guide you or give you a sense of direction. So I'm saying this for someone maybe you're experiencing a medical, you're experiencing a symptom, uh, and then you need a diagnosis of what you're experiencing, and then you're coming to ChatGPT to search for answer. That's actually a very wrong approach. You should go to an hospital and see a doctor. Right, that's the best thing, that's the best approach. ChatGPT is not entirely accurate. But if you're a medical student and you does need a sense of direction, something to help out a bit, then yeah, ChatGPT will help out. So in this particular video, we'll dive into how to use ChatGPT for, for diagnosis of clinical cases. So on this particular website here, there are some conditions, some medical conditions um, relating to osteoarthritis. A number of case studies. We'll just pick one of it and we'll use ChatGPT to answer the question. Don't worry, I'll attach this link to the video description so you can copy and paste to your browser to get different other case studies. So I'll come to my browser now and I'll open a new tab and paste that link and let's see the different conditions that will post at us. So here is the site and there is a particular question on osteoarthritis. So I'm assuming we don't know the answer to it. It's just a case study. So you are seeing Betty, a 65 year old woman for the first time. A reason for scheduling this appointment was to ask for advice regarding ibuprofen and glucosamine with chondroitin to help with arthritis pain in both her hands. From looking at her chart, you see that she has a BMI of 31 kg per meter square and she has hypertension and type 2 diabetes mellitus and is currently employed as a seamstress. Now the question is, what are Betty's risk factor for osteoarthritis? Option A, gender, age, weight, occupation, all of the above. So this is the question. Of course, the answer is here already though, um, but let's assume we don't even know what the answer is. We that's what we want to use ChatGPT to get. Okay, so you can simply just copy the case study and the question and paste your ChatGPT tab. But let's do it this way. Let's take it gradually. Let's copy the um, case study first. And then let's paste it to ChatGPT. And um, let's give it this very short prompt. Using, using this, the case study above. answer <clears throat> this particular question all right so and let me use a colon for that and let me go back to that site and copy the question the copy the question say what are betty's risk factor risk factors for who so let's copy and then come back here to paste so we already have both the case study our very short prompt using this case study above answer this question. It could be more than one question. It could be a lot. You can pay, just paste them there. So, and then let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. All right. And yeah, it says the correct answer is E. Betty's risk factor for osteoarthritis, in osteoarthritis includes all. Her gender, she's a woman. Uh, her age, she's a very old woman. So she's prone to osteoarthritis and she's kind of obese. Her BMI is high. And then her occupation, she's a stream cell. So that makes her um, carry out a number of repetitive hand movements, which makes her prone to having osteoarthritis. So they are all um, risk factors for osteoarthritis. And you can see ChatGPT assisted us in arriving at the perfect diagnosis. And you can see on the site there too, option E is the correct answer, all of the above, right? So this is one of the many ways 
ChatGPT can come in handy for you as a medical student, a clinical student. So let's say you're on a world round, a consultant asks you a question, and then the man even gave you room to search. And then you're jumping from one tab, opening different tabs on your Google Chrome. Just come to ChatGPT and type in the question, and you'll be surprised that it will give you an accurate, as if not entirely accurate, close to it. I even say answer the question and give reasons to support your claim so with that you'll be getting both answers and explanations don't worry we attached all these different prompts to the video description so you can use it actively in diagnosis of clinical case so in our next video we're going to summarizing concepts with chat that's one you don't want to miss all right so if you found this video helpful like always give it a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel do so right now you don't want to miss out on the various goodies we've got in store for you all right, thank you. The name is Dean.